Yo, what's up guys? It's Game with Graham, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to customize your resource packs or edit them, whatever you want to call it. So, um, today the pack that I'll be editing is Electric Blue. It's a pack, Seals 50k pack. This one's 32x. And as you guys can probably see, I it's like a blue theme, but then we have this golden apple, which is just yellow. So I wanted to make it blue because it would look a lot better. Um, so yeah, I'll be showing you guys how to do this paint.net, by the way, and I'll have it down the link in the description. Um, it's very easy, so, yeah. Um, so what you want to do is open your resource pack folder, which you'll want to be in Minecraft, and then you hit options, you hit resource packs, and then you hit open resource pack folder. So make sure that you have your pack that you want to edit in this resource pack folder. Um, basically you just download it and drag it from your downloads into here. So let's see where electric blue is. Here it is. So I'm gonna do a 32x. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna highlight all of these, whatever that you wanna call them, and drag them onto my desktop so that they copy. So this will take a while, so I'll see you guys when it's done. Okay, so now everything has transferred over to desktop. And I may have not mentioned this, but um you will want to this will work with blocks or anything you want to use in your pack, not just a golden apple or a sword. So this will work with anything you want. So I've got all the stuff over here. But first what I want to do is I want to come back in the resource pack folder and I want to give a new make a new folder. And I'm just gonna name it pack edit two. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna open this folder and hold on, I think I opened the wrong one. Yep, here it is. Okay, we're gonna open this folder and we're just gonna drag all these things that you put on your desktop right into the thing. So this will be moving it. So now that you've got this done, you basically made a new pack. So now to get it into paint.net, make sure you have paint.net downloaded. Um, as I said, I did the download in the description. You want to click on the assets. So you come here, click on the pack edit, click on assets. You go to the Minecraft folder. You go to textures. And if you're going to edit a block, you'd use that or whatever you guys kind of see. So I'm not totally sure, but I think mine would be in items. Yep, here it is. Golden apple. I'm going to right click on it and I'm going to hit open with paint.net. So, now you can see that I'll just open, and there's my little gap. So, you want to zoom in by holding control and scrolling in. And you're going to have the pencil tool selected, which is this one right here. So, as you can see, the, it's a basically a bunch of yellow colors like the gap would, but I want to make it blue. So, I would suggest kind of following the pattern, just changing the colors. So let's start out with like a really light blue here. This will do probably, maybe even a little bit lighter. So as you can see, that's a very light blue. And then you just kind of want to go a bit darker for everything. Just kind of follow it how it looks. So I'll just probably time lapse this and show you guys what it looks like when it's done. Okay, there we go. Now you guys can see that I have a blue golden apple. So, um, after that, it's pretty simple. So you edited your block, and uh, you did whatever you want to it. So now you're going to come up, hit file. You're going to hit save. And you're just going to hit OK. And that's all you need to do. So now, I think if we come into Minecraft, you're going to want to go back in a resource packs folder. It may take a little bit to pop up, but I'll see if I can find it right now. You're just going to have to look for... Okay, so here it is. Pack edit 2. That's the one that I just edited. So now, if we take this... Whoops, bring it down here. Yeah, let's swap out that black blue. Mm, let's wait for it to load. Might take a little bit. But then you can see my gap is blue. So, yeah, it's very simple and it's not that hard to do at all. So, um, yeah, all you need is paint.net. 
and just trace the pack kind of how it is so you can kind of get an idea of how you want it to look and it, it should look pretty good and I'm so happy I found this because it makes my packs look a whole lot better. So if this video did help, please leave a like, maybe even subscribe. And if you guys want a more in-depth tutorial on other things, maybe I'll try to figure that out. And uh, thank you guys for watching. So yeah.